What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 626, exchange seats, marked as medium. Let's get into it. So our task is the following. Mary is a teacher in a middle school and she has a table seat storing students' names and their corresponding seat IDs. Column ID is continuously incremented. That means it goes up by one for each row. It's pretty much a row number. Mary wants to change seats for the adjacent students. Can you write a SQL query to output the result for Mary? We have an example input of five students with an ID ranging from one to five, of course. And we can see that one switches with two, three with four, and five stays the same. There's also a note down below that says if the number of students is odd, there's no need to change the last one's seat. So in this case, James, James, is not going to switch seats because there's no one to switch with. There's no number six, basically. So we're going to start writing some code. I'm using the if notation, the short form in MySQL would correspond to case when in other dialects or you could also use if else then and I'm just going to use if you're going to see what I mean right now and it should be quite straightforward so we're going to select something with ID and student from our table seat we only have one table and what we want to do is we don't want to switch students because that's kind of hard working with strings we're gonna want to switch IDs so ID 1 becomes 2 ID 2 becomes 1 and the same thing with 3 and 4 and then 5 stays the same because it's a special case but what we want to do is we want to use modulo and find out which of these IDs are even and odd and then do something specifically for each of these cases because if the ID is even, in case of two, we want to subtract one, make it one. And if it is odd, in case of one, we want to add one and make it two. And that way we switch these two students and do it for all the following pairs, pairs three and four, for example, because these are odd and even as well. And then we just need to implement the special case for ID five. So let's see if we can get this implemented. So we're going to start out using our if condition here, then the statement that happens if it's true after the first comma, and the statement that happens if it's false after the second comma. So our condition should be whether id is odd or even. We're going to use modulo to check that by using modulo2. And if that is true, if id mod 2 is 0, that means it's even, then we want to output id minus 1. So subtract 1 from it. If that's not the case, we want to add 1 to it because that means it's odd. Okay, that is quite nice and it does cover the majority of the problem. However, it does not cover the edge case of having an odd number of students. And that's what we're going to take care of right now. So we only want to do this for all rows that are not the highest row, the highest number, the last element in the table. So we're going to check for that introducing another if. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to introduce a condition that checks for that and if it's not the last element in the table, we're going to do what we already established right here and otherwise we're going to take care of it in another way. So in order to check whether we are the last element in the table, we're going to want to look for the max ID in seat because that means we have the last element because uh, ID is continuously incremented and we need to make sure we're using the right amount of brackets because it is a subquery. Mm. Yes, so if our ID that we're taking a look at at the moment is smaller than the max ID it's going to be one of the rows that are in the last row. So in this case, one to four. And that's when we're going to do our statement that we established already. 
and otherwise we're going to do something else which is our special case. So remember the note says if the number of students is odd there's no need to change anything we're just going to leave it at that so that's what we're going to check right now. So we're going to check whether that is odd or even again using another if having our condition here. So we check for whether it's even. If it is even, we want to do the same thing that we did before, just reduce it by one, id minus one. And if it is odd, we're just going to leave it. So we're just going to write id here. Okay, that is quite an advanced query already, so we're going to run it right here. It's not going to be the final solution yet. We need to change a small thing. As you can see, we only output IDs. We can see that 2 and 1 switched, 4 and 3 switched, and 5 stays the same, which is perfect. We just need our student as well. So I had a small mistake of calling that student here. That should be ID, and then we want to output the student's name as well. As we can see, we have the wrong ordering in place because we switched the IDs, but we didn't switch the ordering or keep the ordering. So we just want to order everything by the ID and that is by default ascendingly I could write ascending here but I'm just going to leave it out to make it shorter. Okay and that gives us an accepted solution. I'm going to submit that query right now and it's going to give us an accepted answer as well. That's pretty much it for this problem. You need to wrap your head around where to approach this problem. It's easier to use ID than to change students somehow. And if you want to apply something for a number of rows, it's always good to check for odd and even numbers. So that works quite nicely here. It's also important to understand how if conditions work and where to put which statement and which path you go down. So. I think that's a decent problem, something that occur in the real world somehow and it's always good to use modulo to check for odd or even numbers if you're trying to take care of an entire table and change something for odd or even cases. In that case it works quite well. It's also good to kind of get the hang of if statements and which path you go down and how to structure them. So I do quite like this question. I'm going through all database problems on lead code on this channel by the way, starting with the ones that are available for free, just like this one. So if you want to see more problems and solutions and study along, make sure to stick around or subscribe to the channel. See you next time.